we're here and we continue to grow and you know and you know the next sister that comes in as well she'll get in you know she'll be able to bond you know with us and grow with us as well but like i said a lot of people you know and that's and i and i think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where we be like oh y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera yes, and, and i i'm not thank god that we never experienced that what's your name what's your name that's you gotta talk to the I'm a pawn in this game of life. We call chess that word that manifests. Dear Lord, I try my best to break the chains of flesh. Mind gone now. <laughs> Exactly. All already planned. I ain't even got started yet. Jeez. But once again, they plan. So if you didn't see this video, you have you have to watch the first video. <laughs> if you didn't see this video, you gotta watch the video before this one. Um, they're doing three videos back to back, so they just did one. This is now this is now the second video. Okay? So, um. <laughs> you did it good, though. You did. Yeah, you did it good. Propolybook.com. The underwritten rules of polygyny. Get the book. Get the book, get the book. Anyway. So. Bring it up. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in. Yeah, keep that same energy. <laughs> We're talking about uh, my, um, Angela. Um, she's looking nervous on the last video, <laughs> but she did good though. If y'all seen my wife's first video, man, it wasn't really saying nothing. Y'all can kind of talk about that too before y'all get started. But um, yeah, so she getting it. She'll get it. You know what I'm saying? So um, good job. But they plan. I'm going to bring them in. Screw y'all. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh yeah. Oh, and it showed on camera too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they coming on in, ladies and gents. I set the book down there, real quick, just in case everybody wants to say something on that. Get your merch. You see the jackets? They actually switch colors of the jackets. And as you'll see in the future, we have shoes and shirts that actually. Match the jackets. Uh, it's actually I, identical to it. I actually just had on the black one. Uh huh. And oh yeah. Let's get on in a little bit, love. Yeah. So um, uh, I guess before we get started, um, y'all go ahead and do the introduction. Shalom. We're the sisters of lies, the house of Judah. <laughs> you may know our Lord as Judah the Shooter. And that's me. Go ahead and hit that bell, like, share, subscribe to get notifications when we upload a new video. <laughs> if you haven't checked out our last video, go ahead and check that out. You will see the introduction of our new sister wife, Angela. Ooh. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, we just did it like, what, 10 minutes ago? No. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually switched the colors of the jackets. Wait, did it? Yeah, every, all got switched our colors. Yeah. Yeah, so you got the black and gold over there. Put the, put up the hand, Miss Black and Gold. <laughs> then we got the purple and gold as well. Then we actually have um, we have blue, yellow, red, and purple. Um, that's in the honor of um, I'm sure you probably heard of the other uh, brothers who have the uh, Masha Rai Yasha Allah, the government of Israel going. That's their flag color. So um, um, then we have. The Dallas Cowboy edition. You know, if anybody is out there that's Dallas Cowboy fans, you know, I got the shoes, the shirts. Uh, how I fit to match everything, you know what I'm saying? But um, I was explaining how uh, Angela was nervous, and I had showed, I said, baby, now look at what you look like on camera now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she did good, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we were talking about you all's first video, because I was saying, in my opinion, 
she made the least mistakes. You remember how many takes we had to do <laughs> yeah. on that first one? Yes. Yes. Wow. yes. Man. It took all day. We started at like we started like ten or eleven and yeah. we didn't stop until like right before the sun went down. Like Yeah. Seven, That's the day when y'all kept when y'all kept we, fucking with me, making me go get shit that day. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> and then who, who recorded me? Yeah, you did. I was looking stupid as shit on camera. Mm hmm. He's like, don't move. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. So that was like, come. He's gonna go get it. Let me get this. Let me get this. I need my Bible bag. Can you have me some water? Some yeah, <laughs> I was frustrated. Man, so that's what I was saying, man. She actually did the least amount of mistakes. So you did really good, baby. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I'm saying? You'll get it, you'll get it. So yeah, propolybook.com. I'm reading the rules of publicity book. Go ahead and get it. If not, you can delete it. That's just what it is, no matter who you are. No matter how long I've known you, it's not personal, it's just business. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, anybody want to say anything before we get started? Anything? No. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started. So we just, the last video was your day is not fulfilled. Yes. Correct? Correct. This video, uh, which is two out of three today, what's what's this one's going, What's this video going to be called? What's the topic? The topic of, go ahead. Topic. <laughs> <laughs> the topic of this is what do you bring to the table besides? Besides what? Your tuchin berry. <laughs> <laughs> Your cooter mama. Your pocketbook. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Judy. Come you know on, Judy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Fl Your flower. Your, Your flower. <laughs> <laughs> that was more like a cycle. Yeah. 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 That's a good one. You know, I'll say the word, but I don't want to get um yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. man. So I'm not gonna say pussy. So oh. I'm gonna just <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's just what it is. Wow. I coughed. So okay. Okay. Yes, here with that one here. Yes, but, okay. but you get it. What do you bring to the table besides that? Right. That's what a lot of women have to offer. That's that's all they have to offer. So right. I'm saying. Well, that's all. Put it on and make them want to marry me. Girl, hush. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she did. Take two. Okay. All right, so what are we talking about? But that, 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 that be the mindset of some people, some women. Like, that's, that's, that's true. true. That's true. That's all I got to do is, is you know, that's put all. this on him and he going to pay my bills and do this, do that, cook for me, clean yeah. and. Yeah, and just they just sit on the couch and be loud mouth, clamorous, bitter, meddling, narcissist. Got just got the time to do. Stay tuned for the video. Yeah. You will see what we got to say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. So our our king just kind of uh, touched on a little bit. So si small discretion, you know, if you may. Per public service announcement. Um. The last video we discussed what a woman should be uh doing. So reference that last video for that information. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Again, this is called, what do you bring to the table besides? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of women think that's all we have to bring to the table, but that's not true. So today we're gonna talk about the things that we as women, don't say we young talk about the men. We talking about your loud mouth butt right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Sit in the hot seat, take it. Get your sisters, your daughters, your aunts, uh, uh, cousins, all there. Sister wives, concubines, potential sister wives, all that. Get Listen, them and look. Come on, y'all. Dragon circle. Yeah, your Keep dragon circle. circle the bitters, it be a lot of y'all in one circle. Mm -hmm. Now, come on, come on, sit down and let's go ahead and get this. What oh. do you bring to the table? Just let me hear the script real fast. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go over um, first edges. Uh, four, verse twenty-six. Uh, yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Woo! Boy, that's like, um, she gonna run me to my wits in! Mm -hmm. Stressing them out. Read that again. Yea, many there some? be. Some? Did it say some? Many. Ooh, many. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women. For who? For women. Mm -hmm. 
and become servants for their sake. So these husbands have become what? Servants. Become what? Servants. For who? Their sex. For their sex. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, boo boo, I got you. Huh, huh, yeah, 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 I got you. Simp. Go ahead. Many have also, <laughs> many also have perished. Ooh, have, that means they have died. What else? Have errored. Ooh, have they going off? Wow. And sinned. For who? For women. For who? For women. Wow, boy, look. Don't be trying to bite on more than you can chew, boy. <laughs> they gonna stretch you and run you to your wits end. They kind of remind me of somebody. Remember that question that my cousin had asked when we were live when we was at the beach. Uh, this is actually for um, I met you. It was probably about a year before we were met. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Cause it was about the no, same. I think same? We yeah, we Recently. was. Yeah, cause yeah, I've been doing yeah. for over a year now. Yeah. So that's yeah. probably yeah, okay. Yeah. But uh, my cousin had asked. Well, how can you handle uh, all these different personalities? Oh, yeah. You remember yeah. I asked that question? Oh, that was yeah. before you. Yeah. Oh, that was okay. before you. That was at, uh, at the beach, yeah. That was when we went to Wisconsin. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, we weren't at, no, nah, we, we was at the beach. Yeah, Future Beach or we was in Cause, California? Because I had nah, responded and I was like. No, nah, that wasn't in Wisconsin. Oh, okay. That's a different beach, time yeah. then. But somebody, uh, I mean, my cousin asked the question and you was like, um, what you say, um, it's not about having different personalities, it's about having the right personality. And I was like, man, that's... Yeah! That's exactly what it is! <laughs> but okay, yeah, so let's go ahead. Enough of the rant. We're going to go ahead and get started. What's so, going on? So women today, um, sit down and, and really ask yourself, what do you bring to the table? Like, be honest. What are you lacking? What do you... Are you... You know, positive, and I'm not. I'm not speaking of what do you bring to the table as far as your bank account. Okay. I mean, honestly, what do you mentally, psychologically bring to this table? Spiritually, Spiritually yeah. especially, what do you bring to the table? What do you have to offer a man besides your body? I mean, we get women who have high expectations, but you have low ambitions. You have low desires and you have low aspirations. Yeah, and also these women, you know, they come into the into the picture, you know, um, getting to know this husband, and if he is, you know, having multiple wives, they have no 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 kind of fruits of the spirit. They're not coming in with any kind of fruit, no love, no joy, no no peace, um, long suffering. Um, no unity. They're not trying to be unified. They just want to be with the husband and just have a relationship with him and not everybody. Kind. Um, no sisterly love. Loving thy neighbor as thyself. Um, just being loving. Just walking in the commandments. You know, that's the number one thing. So you're not even just showing your sister love. So those are those are some of the th those are some of the things that these women are doing. Um, a lot of them also are uh, bringing idleness to the relationship, um, lack of humility, and a whole bunch of disgust. And they are coveting, so they desire things that are someone else's uh, when you need to get your own. Um, vain, self-centered, selfish. And so these are some of the things that they're lacking um, as as it pertains to them bringing things to the table. Um, does your husband does he sigh when he when he when he see you? Tell him what the <laughs> sigh is. Oh my God, yeah. here she comes. Yeah. Here she go. For, she wants to <laughs> nag me. She wants to say this, that, that. Just <laughs> nothing but contrary to you just rejoicing your husband and loving him and being silent. She's just doing it contrary to it. Um, she's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you said she was, baby. She's a dragon. She's, she's a dragon. A dragon. And, the, and the scripture definitely talk about that. Um, oh, dragon. Is she pachygyny? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to get the definition of pachygyny. That's funny because that's in the book. Oh, yeah. I'll pull it up. Yeah. Really <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, we live, y'all. <laughs> I'm giving social media a sneak peek. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. According to Judah the Shooter, hey, 
Pachygyny is a derogatory term that is used to describe multiple things, such as a such as a woman wants a package deal, mm -hmm. which is her and her child <clears throat> or children involved in a man's life, and the man is not the biological father. They're saying he gonna love my kids like they his. Mm -hmm. uh, now for the full you definition. Can't take another wife. Sorry. <laughs> for the full definition, you can go to Urban Book, UrbanDictionary.com, <laughs> and find it there. Or you can read the book. Or you can read the book. Yeah, the written rules of polygamy. Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. Um, Propolybook.com. Oh. <laughs> and then also, um, what a lot of women are not bringing to the table, um, things that they're lacking in their home, lacking in their relationship. Um, they're lacking. They're lacking being that peace again to their husband. He's. She's not being the peace. She's not being that pillar of rest. Um, she's not reverencing her husband. She's not honoring her husband anymore. Um, side note, we reverence your husband. Video coming soon. Coming uh -oh. soon. We're going to be doing a video where we reverence your husband. A lot of women, again, <clears throat> you know, they, they've come into the truth. That's going back to our first video, your day is not fulfilled. Um, she come into the truth and, you know, she's married and, but that's the only thing that she know how to do. She's she's lacking in a lot of areas. Yep. Yeah. Um, also, I mean, not only those things, but honestly, think think to yourself, like, am I this woman that they're explaining or am I the woman from the last video is my day for feel? Like, do sit there and think to yourself, do your husband stay out late? Do he work overtime constantly because he don't want to be at home with you? Do he sit in the car for five to ten minutes before he even come in the house? Uh, after, like... I've experienced that uh, with brothers counseling them. Mm -hmm. and man, I sometimes I, I notice that some of the brothers, and I notice it, you know, they'll come out, they'll step outside, and you can mm -hmm. just see the stress on them. Wow. Like, man, you can see the stress on them. Um, shout out to my brother from Houston. He knows who he is. But um, I was counseling them, and... He had to step outside. Brother worked hard. He was just, man, he was just, man, spiritually beat down, you know, and so I, I see it a lot. Brothers are uh, talking to Carl like they, uh, Mr. Axon Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call him, Axon Jackson. <laughs> the man that had that call. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Man, it, it just be crazy, you know. <laughs> I talk with brothers. We could be talking about Polly all day. As soon as woman come around, yeah. he don't want to talk about Polly no more. <laughs> he don't want to talk about having another wife. He be like, we, 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 we'll talk about it she later. Yeah. Eyes, but why not talk yeah. about it? Giving the death stare. Oh. Yeah. I, and then sometimes I've had brothers that, like, we'll talk about other women, you know. And then y'all will come around and be like, oh, we'll kind of, you know, talk about it later. <laughs> but what the hell? No, we can talk about it now. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to whisper. We, let's talk about it. You know, but that lets me know one thing. They, they, getting, they, they women run the house. And yeah, they women really run If you look really at like TV house. shows today and movies, the women really run. I was, yes. the kids was watching a show called Lele. Somebody Lele or whatever the show called. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the, the, it was around you know, it's a pagan holiday, Christmas, and the dad was missing his guitar, so he was snapping, and uh, he said something, and the mom didn't like it. She said, you better watch your tone with me. He said, oh, oh, baby, wow. I'm sorry. I mean, you That's know, I'm just missing my guitar. Now, I was though, like, really. yeah. like, it's like, it's wow. Like the woman to the rose is yeah, they had a man uh, sleeping on the couch, mm -hmm. yeah. if you will. Yeah. Don't mess up, you're going to the couch. Yeah. You know, if it was yeah. about it. Yeah, you know, but I be finding it so crazy that and these be so-called strong brothers. Mm -hmm. But soon, like one of y'all come around, or they want to come around, they don't want to talk about other women. They just refuse to talk about it. You know, as if y'all gonna get jealous or in y'all feelings, you know. I'm like, man, that is crazy. You know, Judy, you want another wife? No, hold on, wait, your wife coming. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? It's four. Come on, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they four and counting. Yeah. Right. right. Like, That's why people are like, how many wives you got? I've been like, so far? <laughs> <laughs> so far? Yeah. Hey, so far? Yes, Negro. Like, men see different difference with us 
versus like their woman or women they've been around because one like when we come around like if King's talking to somebody we don't stand in their face we oh well he talking let's go you know and most women want to be in their husband's face which I talking about you know yeah, I, I remember you know, I remember that one time remember we went to um, a brother's house I don't want to mention his name but we yeah. went there and um his wife was just like walk in like yeah. rooms that he was in and we, we got like, we, we knocked knock like, um and it's like y'all knock yeah like, wow. yeah yeah that's respect so so but they they see such a difference in us because we don't act like the typical woman, even the, the typical woman in the truth. You know, we so we get, we do get, Screw them, yeah. we do get ostracized. You know, by other sisters. <laughs> Fun fact: video coming too. Um, <laughs> we do get ostracized by other sisters. You know, in the truth, for being who we are. Okay. Absolutely. And tell them about the knocking part, because somebody probably didn't know what you meant by that. Yeah, so before we enter um, a room, especially a room full of men, we knock. I mean, that's just like when your uh, kids at home and your doors closed. Well, I mean, if we're being honest, um, if, right. if we're being honest, we don't just walk in on our king either. No. If the door yeah, is closed, office. then he clearly wants some type. He wants privacy, so yeah. we're gonna knock before we come in. Unless he gives yes. the verbal command, the right. office is open. You just don't have to knock. Come on in. Yeah. Other and even that, then, we still kind of yeah, we still not yeah. like. Hey, <laughs> I'll be like, yes, yeah, the office open. Come on, or yeah. come back. <laughs> come back. <laughs> hey, let me cheat and pee. Out of my face. <laughs> Boy, y'all crazy. Well, yeah, that's I told like you we laugh every day. It's just like with your mama. If you I want you to hear my conversation. I have you on speakerphone. Yes, Mind your business. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. But our sisters don't know that, and they and they clearly, clearly don't understand that. And we just really want y'all to, to. We just really want y'all to, to sit back and think about you yourselves. Don't sit there and say, "Well, the men ain't well. What you not doing?" Like, oh, don't you, worry, because uh, no sisters talking about some. Well, what he bringing? <laughs> That's what we got going, man. We we gonna be getting brothers' credit straight. So if your brothers' credit is trash, don't worry about it. Come on, holler at me. You know, I'm gonna put you in the right hands, get your credit score, so your credit score can be on steroids like mine, so you can get whatever it is you want. Cause I'm sure we're gonna go car shop a few weeks. I wanna get something fast and noisy. But yeah, like we gotta <laughs> we gotta know that. We as sisters are we are held to our, we're held to our own. Just like that car well. we just heard right there, you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that car got some muscle, whatever it is. Yeah. We're, we're held to our own standards as well, and we have to walk in our own shoes. We gotta realize that, you know, are you, you know, waking sisters up? Are you, you know, telling them how they should live? But you can't tell nobody how they should live if you're not doing the same thing. Yeah. So you really, you really got to sit there and, and look at the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror, may I say. Okay, so with that being said, um, some homework. Um, my sister Judy, she went over those things that women are lacking. So to improve in your relationships, right? <clears throat> if you have been lacking in being his peace, be his peace more. If you haven't been being a pillar of rest, be a pillow of rest more. Um, be a help me. You know, give him wisdom. Uh, fear the most high. Fear the most high especially because we as women are supposed to be treating our husbands the same way that we would be treating the most high. So if you're disrespecting your husband, you are in fact disrespecting the most high. Um, so just do better. We don't have an excuse. A lot of us try to say, well, we're human. It takes some time to get right. But the second that you knew that you was breaking the most high commandments, did you just continue to break those commandments? Mm-hmm. Or did you get that together? Um, we're going to go to Sarat 5 and 7. Let me pull it up real fast.
Um, it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Ooh, and y'all know that tarrying means waiting. Don't delay. Don't be putting it off. Remember she said, it will take some time. <laughs> you don't know if you got time. Go ahead and read that again. Make no tarrying. Make no what? Tarrying. Oh, make no waiting, no delaying. To turn to the Lord. Mm. And put not off from day to day. I go that procrastination. Don't be putting it off from day to day. Trying to get right with God. <laughs> Amen. But suddenly, <laughs> but suddenly <laughs> that is funny. As a that for y'all, we, we make we make Christian jokes because we make the Christian jokes because right. she used to be deep, deep off in the Christian church. Right. But I why? Okay. Right. Yeah. Great. I pulled my wife some out of the world. That's a whole nother topic. I talk about that in the book too, but go ahead and read that again. All right, to rock five or seven. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord mm -hmm. and put not off from day to day. Mm. For suddenly, no, later. For suddenly, uh -huh. shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Ooh. And in thy security. When you think it's all good, you feeling safe and secure in your security. Thou shalt be destroyed. And what else? And perish. And what? And perish. When? In the day of vengeance. Hey, y'all better quit playing with the most high. Huh? Keep on acting like you got all day. Ain't got time. Putting it off from day to day. Yo. That's what it is. Who else? <laughs> well, what I want to say is... What you want to say? <laughs> make sure that you are healing. Yes. Um, You've went through a lot of traumatic situations and uh, experiences in your life, even as a child up until your adulthood. Deal with those things before you get into relationships, especially a marriage, especially when you're connecting with other sisters in general or you're connecting with your sister wives. Make sure you handle you and have self-reflection um, and just, you know, get into what it is that you need to correct. As my sister said before, it's not about what he's bringing to the table, but it is who you are and what you're bringing to the table. Are you a daughter of Zion? You know, are you a daughter of Sarah? Like, are you, you know, cor correcting sisters out here? Are you getting them on a straight and narrow? Or are you just a hypocrite like my sister said? But definitely tap into the healing part of, um, of your consciousness, of you know your life, get that heart check definitely mm -hmm. before you enter into these relationships. Right, mm -hmm. with your uh, miserable wife. Come <laughs> 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 With that being said, um, don't forget to get your copy of the. And put that closer to the screen. <laughs> yeah, you can't see that. <laughs> Some people need glasses. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's called the Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. And ProPolyBook.com. Yes. You can get your book, your merch. Also, um, you can obtain marriage counseling if need be. Just remember, just remember, please remember, take notes. If you, your significant other, or potential significant other, does not have a copy of this book, you will not receive counseling. Damn. All nine supporters shall be deleted. Ooh. With no hesitation. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> For real. With no hesitation. With it, no man. hesitation. Please, please, please go ahead and support. Um, like I say, go ahead and get your merchandise. We have jackets, shoes, shirts. We also have things for women. Go on our website to check it out. New merchandise coming soon. Oh, Polly with the 23 on it. My polygyny. Jeez. All right. What am I talking about? Ooh. <laughs> and the mic is dropped. Boom. Uh, but anyway, uh, with that being said, we want to go ahead and shalom. We're here and we continue to grow. 
and you know and you know the next sister that comes in as well she'll get in you know she'll be able to bond you know with us and grow with us as well but like i say a lot of people you know and that's and i and i think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where we like oh y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera yes, and, and i i'm not thank god that we never experienced that what's your name <laughs> what's your name Ashley Judah. you gotta talk to the Be a bee,